When a prospect decides to read one of your case studies, they want the best reading experience possible. Readers on mobile devices want responsive versions, ones that adapt to the size of their screen. That's just one reason why PDF-based case studies are giving way to HTML-based case studies. In this video, you're going to see two companies' best efforts at creating case studies for the mobile era and come away with a handful of actionable tips that you can apply to your case study production process today. Hi, I'm Mike Russell from ConvertWithCaseStudies.com, the place where marketers go to build trust and boost sales with their customer success stories. All right, let's start with this example from Mimecast. It's in HTML, which means that in this web browser, it's going to render in smaller version, which is gonna make it easier to read on mobile devices. And there's no PDF reader required. You just render the HTML on, in the browser and it's going to look great. Now, another ex reason to have HTML-based case studies is that you can cross-promote other case studies. So here, case study, or here, Mimecast has three examples in the sidebar that you can read after reading the content on this page. Also in the sidebar, they're cross-promoting a PDF version of the case study. So if you're still attached to having a PDF version available on the website, no problem. For some reason, they've got the bleed lines in the case study, which I guess could be helpful for printing. And then, as I mentioned in an earlier video, they have three calls to action at the bottom of the case study. I think that's just great practice. Next, let's look at this example from Tenable. Here, another HTML version of the case study with a summary of the client and the key takeaways, and then a lot of meat. Here, they've made the responsive HTML version of their case study very substantive, which I think is a great idea. If readers want that kind of detail, you may as well give it to them. And then down here at the bottom, they're cross-promoting a downloadable version of the case study, which is much shorter. It's a single page. Now, the one thing here is I'm confused why Tenable doesn't cross-promote between the two. So from the one-page PDF, cross-promote to the longer HTML version. And then in the longer HTML version, there's nothing about why how the case study is a single page. May as well make that clear so that it's maybe a little easier to share. All right, let's review the advantages of HTML-based case studies. For one, they're responsive. So they'll render well no matter the size of your viewer's screen. Next, there are no plugins required. The reader just goes to the page and can start consuming the content immediately. And there's an opportunity to cross-promote your other case studies. So when they're done reading one case study, they can switch over to the next and you can alternate the options that they see over time. Now, if you would still like to have a PDF version, consider making it a single page summary like we saw with Tenable. There, you can just have the gist of the case study and have an invitation to come back to your site to read the longer version with more detail. And in doing so, you're bringing them back to your site. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends and colleagues. The more people that it helps, the better. And then come over to convertwithcasestudies.com for my free email course, The Internet's Best Case Study Hacks. I've distilled hundreds of articles about case studies into the best practices and hacks, all for free and all for you. I'm Mike Russell from convertwithcasestudies.com. Thanks for watching. All right, let's do that again.